Hello everyone and welcome back to PAX and Recreation and today, let me just adjust this slightly Remember the last time I ordered one thing a blister and they sent me the box and it was a mistake Well, apparently they found it so funny that I did a video on that that they were like Hey! We sent you a package and I opened it because I was like, I don't remember ordering anything like this. This is too big to be a boost, a booster box. And lo and behold, they did it again. So my theory here, my theory here, and I'm going to be perfectly honest with you is they don't sell this. Uh, as much as you may think uh, <laughs> and and they were like yeah just take them so here we are this is a improved version compared to the others i will say i will see why in a second now let's move all of this to the right for a second the, we also have two varieties this time well but this time is the hydragon uh, evolution line and the uh, Tinkaton evolution line. So at least is a somewhat more attractive pack. Last time we did this crazy thing, it came with a coin, it came with a booster, and that's it, I think, if I recall correctly. Uh, yeah, it was a booster, the card, and the coin. And this time is, well, the booster, a series of cards. And the coin so it is what it is better value i guess and this time is from paradox rift which i think was the, also the case last time so i think that maybe pokemon overprinted or they misunderstood greatly how much people will want the pokemon that they decided to put as promos but certainly they do a lot of waste, because look at all this plastic for this, plus the wrapper, which is technically plastic. So not very eco-friendly, guys. So Pikachu coin, we're going to get a bunch of these. Tinkaton, Tinkatoof, and Tinkatink. So the whole evolutionary, evolutionary line here, but only Tinkaton is foil, which is fair, I guess. So Tinkatink, brutal swing, evolves into Tinkatoof, Play rough and pulverize impress and goes into Tinkaton with gather materials and a special hammer. So we're going to put this in here. This is the code that you're getting for this. And then we have the booster. Now, what I'm going to do this time is, you know what? No, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to do it the same way. So let's crack the booster. Apparently they found it so funny that I was complaining about the... Well, I didn't complain, actually. I think that's what saved me. I was like, haha, wasn't this funny? They were like, yes, it was. And I was like, okay. So, Gibble, Pampur, Blitzel, Bounce Suite, Screamtail, which is basically Jigglypuff, prehistoric Jigglypuff, Iron Bundle, which is like future Deli, Deli Bird, Ferrothorn, Toxel. Oh, I'm waiting for that evolution to appear. And a Zubat. Zubat, bat, 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 bat. And a Steelix. Look at that Steelix card. Nice indeed. Now, a Fire Energy and a Coderino for you, mi amigo. Now, so you can see the other half of this, because then I'm just going to skip the whole thing. It's a lot more wasteful than the others because of the, the second plastic piece. Crazy. A Pikachu coin. And then you have Dino or Dino. I don't know. Ambush. Zuelos or Zelos, which find a friend and headbutt bounce. Bounce. And then Hydreigon, which I think I think it's safe to assume that a lot of kids are going to buy this one, but. Uh, try hole and dark cutter, dark cutter. Sorry, unless well, they really like Tinkaton, which I guess it has to be for everyone, right? 
and the code for you. Now, in case you ever wonder, yes, you can, either, you can either put the code on the website or you can just point your phone to the screen and um, it counts because you can read the QR code from the YouTube video. Uh, and there you go. Flamingo, there you go. Pori, Porygon, Poringo. <laughs> Uh, Oricorio Toy at school, which is very cool and walking like he owns the place. Steeny Countercatcher Absol, which looks badass. Golisopod Nacli or N I C L I, which is salt. Ooh, Chantal in a you know, feature trainer card. It's like it's nice looking, like. And I don't care that much about the trainer cards, but because I don't really care that much about the new characters. But hey, nice nonetheless. Grass energy or plant energy or green energy, because that also counts for bugs and a code for you. Now, next. Are these ones easier to open than the others? Yes, apparently they are. Which make of it what you want. So Pikachu coin, the Tinkaton line, and a code for you. Now for what the booster is all about, let's see. Charcadet, which is a great name. Oh, we don't have place for. We don't have space for fire Pokemon. These ones I put in like to the side because whatever, right? But just move this to the right a little bit. And that means that I can put the support card in here, the energy card in here. Because I mean, it's not like no one cares about support, but certainly, you know what I mean? Um, I guess I'm just. I don't have enough space because I'm, I don't know. So Charcadet goes here. Let's move this a little bit. Too many types of cards, Pokemon. Come on. Anyway, we can also do the, like put the energies here because no one cares about the energies, I guess. Uh, you know what we're going to do? And to put like the energies in here because they are like, right? And put the trainer cards in here. And there you go. A lot better. Let's hope that there isn't not another type like Dragon, which is the one missing, I think. Fleetle, Trubbish, Gimme Ghoul, Gimme, 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 Simipur, Zepstrika, or Zepstrika, Crocalor, Snorunt, nice, Natu, nice, and Chiyu, nice as well. A dark energy and a code for you. Another Tinkatonk one. Yeah, this one's open a lot easier than the last time we did this crazy thing. This crazy act of madness. Pikachu coin. All the Tinkaton evolutionary line. Which is nice, at least you can play with it. And a code for you. Let's see what the booster holds. A Natu, Remoraid, Pumkaboo, Pumkaboo, Zubat, Don Dozo, Tulip, which is a trainer, Veluza, or Veluza, Porygon Z, nice. Porygon Z always looks crazy, which I guess is part of the charm. The Porygon and Porygon Z. We're just missing Porygon 2, I guess. Ooh, Groudon. See, this is the thing that I also like about Pokemon. Like, Groudon, as it's always the case with legendary Pokemon, in each generation was like, oh, a Groudon card. And now it just pops. Like, yeah, there is a Groudon card. Like, it's still rare. Don't get me wrong, but it's not the same level. Garganacle. Because, you know, Salt and Barnacle. She's great. Electric Energy and a Code for you to play with another Tinkatonk one I'm just pulling so it's likely that we're going to do the Tinkatonk ones first because of how they are laid down on the table 
booster, cards, Pikachu coin, Tinka Dun Tinka Duff Tinka Tink, Tinka Dun Tinka Dun Tinka Dun Code, and a booster for you. Gimme go. Purloin. Damn, this is getting crowded here. Mianfu or Mindfu. I don't know. Ferocid. Shauntol, but this type the normal card. Garbodor. Everyone loves Garbodor. Future Booster Capsule. Charcadet in foil. Always welcome. Panpour in foil and Iron Moth from the future, 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 future. A psychic energy or purple energy because it also comes for ghost apparently and a code for you. Let's try to grab one from Hydragon or Hydragon or Hydragon. I know I need to see the anime to see how the hell is pronounced. So there is that. Plastic goes with plastic. Pikachu coin. Hydreigon stuff, booster. We're getting better at this. Gimme Ghoul, Purloin, Mianfu, Ferrocid, Ambipo, nice. Snorlax doll, <laughs> nice. Tinkaton, which, because, you know, we we're missing one, but. It's actually a different card, so that's nice. Not the same Pokemon, but not the same card in terms of effects or life or health points or anything. Charcadet, Panpour, again, in foil again, which is weird. Palkia, let's go, another case of like, this Pokemon used to be legendary and had a special treatment, and now it's just a rare foil, which is always something to be thankful about, but, you know, you don't jump all over the room. Uh, the same like technically of the pools we got so far you will jump faster because of the trainer card than than for the palkia card so that's the reality we're living in people palkia the lord of space is not as important as a waifu so You get your coin. The trilogy, which is fitting because it has three heads, and then a code that you can use. Now, for the booster itself, Natu. Purloin, Mien Fu, Ferocid, Defiance Vest, Durant, 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 Technical Machine, Turbo Energize, Ivital or Ivital in foil, again, another legendary <laughs> Pokemon that just sits in here casually, Nikit, which, you know, it's like a British word for steal it, which is okay because it's a fox. Porygon Z again, but this time in a crazy foil, a metal energy, or steel energy, and a code for you. I think we're halfway there. Now, this can be anyone's game. There you go. Pikachu coin. The boys. The code for you. Plastic for me. And the booster. Pam 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 pam. The booster. Pam pam pam. Trubbish. It's just trubbish. Militank. Wimpod. Plusle. Gleescore. Uh, Absol. Absolutely cool. Simisage, Swablu in all of his beauty. 
Don Dozo, and Zekrom, another legendary Pokemon. <laughs> we are getting, we're going to town with those, and a fire energy, and also a code that you can use. Another Tinkatong one. Re friendly reminder, don't do this. In any case, if you want to just, you know, open boosters, buy a booster box. But unless you really want Pikachu coins and a bunch of Tinkatons and, and Hydreigons for some reason. But, um, but yeah, overall rule, don't do it. Uh, if you want the card in particular, just buy the single. If you really want to open boosters, just buy a booster box. Don't do this. Only do this if you do the math and it gets cheaper to you to buy like the boosters like these, and then you also get the coins if you really need the coins. Yeah. And you don't mind having a bunch of Tinkatons and Hydreigons with no purpose in life. If that's the case, then sure. Phoebus, Ipom, the new the new monkey from Apple. Pansage, which actually is grabbing an apple, so the joke is there. I guess it's a berry because it's Pokemon. Mantike. Cursed Duster, okay, that's uh, interesting for Pokemon. Orbital, love it. Cloughful, Clough, Clough, Clough. Minior, which is a very nice looking card. Technical Machine Devolution, looks very nice, even if it's just a technical machine. Ooh, let's go, Iron Valiant EX, which is basically Galliant. But in the future, 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 future. And it has the, the star dust thing. Nice. Tachyon beats. Once during your turn, when this Pokemon moves from your bench to the active spot, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. And for two purple energy and one colorless or basic or normal, you do laser blade. With 200 attack, during your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack. And it, it doesn't need to evolve because it's a version from the future which is something that i still don't know if i like or hate about those pokemon like i am guessing you could say that this is like the regional versions of a of a lot of pokemon right like that that will be like um paldea paldean uh, ga, 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 gallant galliant uh gardevoir gal galliant right i think is the name well now i have a I have that blank in my brain, but yeah, you could say it's the Paldean version of Galliant. Ah, uh, not Galliant, Gajade, Galade, or I think it's Galade, but I'm going to talk call it Gajade because it's just cooler. So uh, you could say it's the is the Paldean version of Gajade, you know, I, Iron Valiant, but that won't be true because you have Paldean versions of some Pokemon like Duke Trio and all that, so. Technically, they are not a version of a Pokemon. They are the evolution or the ancestor. And they just happen to look like them. And they just have the name of the characteristics that they have. Similar to what they do with the fossils, right? And I think that's cool. But at the same time, I hate it. Because it's like, can we... Like, the names are like super generic. It's like, oh, Iron Valiant. There you go. It's like, what? Can you just use the, the reference point that you have and call it like future Gajade or something? Or I don't know. I like it at the same time, I don't like it. It's, it's funny how it works. Oh, another version of Think I Think. Crobat. Rourke. Another Minior, but this time it's not foil. We have a Honedge on foil. I always like this Pokemon a lot. It's a very simple concept. It's a sword, but it's a ghost. A ghost. There you go. Shuntal, but in foil. And a Porygon Z again. I think the only one we haven't pulled is Porygon 2, if I recall correctly. Steel Energy and a Code for you. I think we are pretty close. One, two, three, four, five, six, one to go. Six, six to go, and this is the sixth. So. Come on. I must be one of those Pokemon fans that... I like... You know when you're getting older, a lot of people say like, oh, you know you're getting older when you like get up from the chair and you make noises, right? Like, ugh, or something like that. And that's true to a degree, and that's kind of a meme at the same time, but for our generation, you know when you're getting older? When you start looking at changes in Pokemon, and you're like, eh, 
it's okay. I like it, I guess. But it's ironic because I think there, there are two types of old people. <laughs> you have the classic flavor of old people, which is the one that doesn't want change. Oh, oops, I haven't opened the booster. Well, let's open two and then open two boosters in a row. People that don't want change are the ones that are like, oh, Mega Evolutions are awful. What is this, Digimon? And then like, what do you mean a Lolan version of a Ratata? What is this, right? Which, I mean, yes, it's kind of a cop out to have like original versions for Game Freak because instead of having to do what they do, like what they did in generation three and four and five, which is like uh, even six and seven, but mostly in generations three, four and five is where I saw it the most, which is, you know, like, oh, we need let's do a cat and they do another cat and you already had Meowth and Persian, right? So it's like, oh, well, Deli Kitty. And it had like a different aesthetic because it's like based on something different, but it's a different cat. And they still do that. They have like, oh, there's another bat. See, like there's another thing. But it brings the question, like what, why is it an Alolan Ratata and not just another Pokemon with another name, right? Because why isn't like Deli Kitty just called I don't know Hoens what's the what's the the people name for Hoen? Honian? Uh well Ho why, why isn't it called like how Hoen's Meowth, right? It's like, oh, because it's too different and the types are different. It's like, are they? Oh, let's go, Mantic or Man Mantique. Nice, look at that. Is that Bill? No, I don't think it's Bill. It looks like Bill Gates for sure. That's for sure. It swims along with a school of Remoraid, and they all fight together to repel repel attackers. Nice looking card right here. Love it. I love this card. It's my favorite type of Pokemon card, without a doubt. Thievul in foil, basic energy. Coderino, mi amigo. But yeah, so that, that's an open debate, right? It's like, what what makes, because, you know, like the Alolan Ratata is also a different type of Pokemon. It's not normal, it's dark, right? So if you can change the type of the Pokemon, just be like, yeah, it's a Ratata, just because they look similar physically. Why is it that, I don't know, isn't Corviknight just like um, Galarian Pidgeot? You know what I mean? Like... Again, I'm just trying to like find logic to this, and it's just like sometimes they create new Pokemon, sometimes they just want to do versions of Pokemon, which is, I guess, easier uh, instead of inventing something new. I like both both ways, but it does bring some questions about consistency. Like, ooh, let's go, Hoopa EX. See, this is the type of card that I like, but I like I prefer the ones that are just Pokemon leaving their lives. This is just cool. Like, I'm not going to complain about this, but yeah. Yeah, hey, it looks great nonetheless. Hoopa EX, let's go, Terralized. Nice. The basic energy and then a code for you. So, yeah, I don't know. I think it goes down to whatever Game Freak wants at that point in time, which, you know, basically I'm a magician's, a magician did it, right? Or a wizard did it. That's the, that's the explanation most of the times. So, not much logic there, but I kind of like it. Like I, I, I like the original versions, to be honest. I think they are a cool thing to have. I like Mega Evolutions because, again, it's like the Super Saiyan 3 version of a Pokemon most of the time. And everyone loves Super Saiyan 3. So, um, you know, there is that. Um, Dynamax. So, Mega Evolutions I liked a lot. Uh, Alolan versions I liked, but like regional versions I like as a whole. Alolan with the whole Z move movement thing, I didn't like that gimmick that much. It felt very repetitive. Uh, again, they try to find ways of doing things easily and only give some special moves to some Pokemon because it's like a thousand Pokemon. So imagine if they had to do everything personal, customized for each Pokemon, that would be horrible. So even though they have the resources to do it because it's the Pokemon company and everything that Pokemon does is super successful, so whatever. But um, but yeah, like I will, without a doubt, 
prefer to have like more dedicated animations, but you know, they had those dances, which were okay. I never liked too much the Z movements. Um, same with the, ooh, let's go, Bombardier EX. Uh, same with the, the Super Beast or like Mega Beast or whatever. I never remember the name of the things. Oh, this guy is actually cool. Okay. I never liked the EX too much because they are like 3D and not all Pokemon benefit of being like 3D and they're always like popping out and like, coming at you. And they also don't all look cool, but Bombardier looks nice. Basic energy. See again, Bombardier. Why is it Bombardier and not just like uh, Paldian Firo, right? Um, so it is what it is. Uh, three to go. So Z movements, I wasn't a fan of. Um, I actually really liked, well, more or less, like Galar. Galar is a mixed bag. I like the Galarian versions, like most of them. And um, the Dynamax and Gigantamax, well, I mean, mixed feelings. Just having the Pokemon become gi gigantic just for you to be able to do raids, because that's a gameplay thing. That's okay, I guess. The reasoning for it is that, oh, there is that energy and that energy is on certain spots. And that's the justification where you can only do raids on certain spots. Like, I get it. Like, as a justification for in-world things, it's like, eh, okay, I can roll with it. I mean, it's not the craziest thing ever, so it's okay. Now, the fact that some of them are just bigger versions of the Pokemon and others have a specific versions, like Pikachu transforms into Fat Pikachu, Gengar transforms into Bouncy Castle, Charizard becomes this god dragon thing, because obviously because it's Charizard and everyone wants Charizard. Like, the fact that some of them have versions based on popularity alone is kind of eh, because this is the last Tinkating one. I don't like it when it comes down to popularity because it means that Charizard always have a, has a version of everything. And it's like, can we can we please stop it with that? Like, I, I like Charizard as much as the next guy, but like, come on, Bulbasaur, or like in this case, Venusaur and Blastoise have, you know, as many fans, if not more, at least out of spite. And yes, you will be like, no, actually, Charizard has more, more, you know, more love than any other because the most one of the most, if not the most popular Pokemon. And last time I saw like a, like some some sort of um, rankings from Japan, I think it was like Charizard wasn't right there. With Pikachu and Greninja and all that. So there are some Pokemon that people just love. And Charizard is one of those. Even though I love Blastoise with a passion. But it is what it is, I guess. Um, so some of them have versions. Some of them don't have. I don't know if I like it. For, Pal for Paldea, they actually did something that I think is very smart as a game developer. But as a player, I just think it's kind of lazy and meh. Which is the whole Terralize thing. So from a gameplay perspective... It's interesting for you to terrorize your Pokemon and then it becomes a different type. So you can really change the type of battle because Pokemon really is just rock, paper, scissors with types. So if you can change your type in the middle of the battle, that's an advantage, right? And with the... Oh, there you go, another Palkia. Uh, with, the, with the whole Mega Evolution, sometimes you could do that because your stats will shift so dramatically that it kind of counts. But it's not the same as Elemental Resistance. Like, Elemental Resistance... Is a whole different thing and this is the last one sometimes if you play it right you can just be immune to attacks from your opponent and that for competitive play is just crazy and even for single player the amount of moments that you can give the player of like oh no i need to be creative or ha ah, i got it i i pull and pull one on the cpu and stuff like that it's also pretty good so i think as a game developer is good on that front alone and also on the front that you don't need to do a thousand versions of it. You just need to like put a crystal texture on top of, on top of the Pokemon and a chandelier on their head. And there you go. That's your terrorized Pokemon. So every Pokemon can be terrorized. Their type changes to whatever. And it it doesn't cost an Araman and, and an eye for the animation and, and modeling department. So 
win-win, guys. And so I think it's a very nice, elegant solution. I don't like it as a player, like, at least visually. I think it's the less interesting one. Like, Mega, Mega Evolutions is just, like, very cool to see some of those designs. Just the Pokemon going Super Saiyan 3, you know. Uh, Gigantamax, not so much. Dynamax with the specific designs. It's cool, but again, it's like, why, why some and not the others and blah, blah, blah. And, ooh, Lokix. Let's go. And that's the last foil of this video. Um, but Terralize is just like, yeah, it's a chandelier. There you go. And that's it. So, yeah, I don't know. So, hey, that's the end of this weird saga. Well, at least for now. These are all the Pikachu coins, which are they all... They all have like glue for some reason. That's weird. Um, yep. No, it's not glue. They are miscut. Oh, okay, that's that's good to know that the quality is right there. That's a miscut coin multiple times. <laughs> okay, whatever. So a bunch of Pikachu coins. So then I am really going to do that jacket now, and then a bunch of Tinkatongs and their evolution evolutionary line, and a bunch of Hydreigons and their evolutionary line. I could do a deck with each of them, and I will still have cards to spare. So let me know what you think about the pools. I think we got pretty good pools, three special cards or four actually. So let me know down below what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all those cool things that the cool kids do, and I will see you next time on packs and Recreation. Bye.